In a solar system about 1800 light years from Earth, two giant planets crashed into one another in an impact that vaporized them both. By a stroke of good luck, astronomers spotted the aftermath of the collision. Matthew Kenworthy, an assistant professor at Leiden Observatory in the Netherlands, was searching for rings around exoplanets. To this end, he was looking through data collected by the All-Sky Automated Survey for Supernovae, or Assassin, when he noticed that a sun-like star called Assassin 21QJ was repeatedly dimming. He posted about the fading star on social media and got a reply from Artu Senyo, a volunteer citizen scientist for NASA, who tweeted back saying, did he realize the star had brightened in infrared? Senyo pointed out that infrared data from NASA's orbiting WISE telescope showed a strong uptick in infrared radiation from the star about 900 days before the dimming began. The researchers realized that a giant impact could neatly explain both the infrared glow and the visible light dimming that followed more than two years later. A glowing blob of a planet left over from the impact could explain the surge of infrared light, while an ensuing debris field from the smash-up would account for the dimming of the star. Their calculations suggest that two Neptune-sized planets collided forming a hot donut-shaped body of vaporized rock, which was the source of the infrared glow. Assassin 21QJ later dimmed when impact debris spread out around the star and blocked some of its light. Although this explanation seems the most plausible, others can't yet be ruled out. Based on the infrared readings, the vast spinning object had an initial temperature of more than 700 Celsius, but will eventually cool and form a new planet around the star. As the remaining debris smears out into a disk orbiting the star, it too might eventually collect onto the new planet or form moons around it. How long all this might take isn't clear. Astronomers are now keen to follow up the observations to confirm what they suspect has happened. If the dust cloud continues to orbit the star, then in about five to ten years, the cloud will have moved to one side of the star, and it should be possible using the largest ground-based telescopes to see the star's light reflected from the dust. It may also be possible for the James Webb Space Telescope to detect infrared radiation from the dust and the new planet created in the collision.